Here we are in Hunger 2 in Valkenburg near Estek in the Netherlands preparing a challenge that will provide the task of solving problems in prospecting the lunar surface. We've asked companies to respond and we got 13 teams which are ready to compete. The biggest challenges are probably the terrain, so behind us we can actually see big boulders, uh, slopes, gravel, different kinds of soil that would uh, kind of mimic the lunar surface. We also have the lights that mimic the long shadows that you would see on, uh, on the moon and that can be quite a challenge for the, the rovers, uh, camera systems and autonomy systems. And we also have the delay, so the delay that is between this field and the operators that are controlling the rovers and that's about five seconds and that introduces a lot of difficulties for the operation of them. My name is Francisca, I'm a YGT at ESA. My big project has been this challenge. We've been working on it for well over a year and we're finally here in the Netherlands. We have 12 teams from all over Europe and Canada. They are performing and showing the technology over a whole week. We see different approaches to the task of traversing an area which is uncharted and to find rocks to be analysed for science analysis. We are very happy to organise this challenge together with, uh, with the European Space Agency. And as, as next step after this challenge here at STEC where we select the, the five best team, we're going to host the second round, the final round in Luxembourg next year in September. I would say it mostly represents a great way to test our different robots and technologies um, in a pretty fun but also very challenging environment that we usually don't really get a chance to. We usually work either in relatively hard science or very industrial projects and this is a pretty unique blend of, a, of both having sciencey topics but relatively difficult uh, industrial-like uh, restrictions. The well, technology we are working on and have decided to show uh, is a team of walking robots with very different skills that complement each other as, good, as much as possible. Ra ranging from AI technologies for detection up to manipu uh, manipulation of rocks with drills and similar stuff. I work uh, here as part of the Hungarian uh, pulley team um, on figuring out the best ways uh, to obtain maps of resources on the moon. This will be very useful in the future when we will hopefully set up a stable manned base on the surface of the moon. We need to know where our resources at the spot where we are going to live. Uh, it's not financially responsible to bring everything from Earth, so we need to do mining uh, on, on the surface of the moon. And before that, we need to know where the resources are. Uh, the name of the ro robot is DORA, the Demcon Robotics Explorer, and it's a robot which can navigate and map its surroundings autonomously. We are really excited to uh, try this challenge with the, our, our robot because we, uh, we think it will uh, perform uh, well for this uh, challenge. For me personally, when I heard that I could be part of uh, a challenge for ASA, I was very excited and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to how the challenge will go. This challenge represents a good field test, meaning that we can take our technology, take it to a relevant environment and prove it and show that it actually works in, a real, in real conditions. So we, we developed this technology over many years and now we're putting everything together and it's really a good opportunity for us to make a big test. Our technology is Swarm Robotics. We developed it over many, many years and uh, it's basically a sort of AI democracy. We have a, a set of robots that they have to accomplish a common goal and uh, what we want to have is some uh, decision that's completely autonomous and the robots basically vote on what they have to do and uh, they come to an agreement and then they execute the task. In this case we have uh, a task that is exploration and uh, um, uh, prospecting and we have robots that have different capabilities. So depending on the capability of the instrument, the robots discuss 
and decide where to go to perform the exploration and which instrument is more suitable for a particular task. So this is the nutshell our technology. Uh, the, we call it the AI democracy. Our technology is mostly sponsored by the Canadian Space Agency and uh, we, uh, they are actually inviting us to develop it and test it in as many field conditions as possible. So we found the opportunity very interesting. We generally test on the Canadian Space Agency Mars Yard and uh, this is actually a bit of a change the moon and uh, I think it, it, it's a good environment and uh, it's a good opportunity. We're really excited to be part of this challenge and um, to be able to demonstrate our software and our operations which will actually be operating on the moon next year as part of a flight demonstration for a commercial lunar mission. Here the challenge is also to try to explore new strategies that institutes and research institutions and universities or companies that uh, participate. So we're also trying to find out what these companies or these institutes are bringing to the table in terms of state of the art in robotics. And um, I think that also creates a, a, a good way to improve robotic systems in facilities and research institutes across Europe, which is also, I think, the purpose of ESA to stimulate this uh, kind of research. I'm even more excited for the second half of the challenge in Luxembourg next year. So we're looking forward to the solutions that this challenge will bring us. Five teams will be selected and we will go with them to Luxembourg in September 2022 and select the final winner. And that one winner will get really the chance of going to the moon on the next ESA mission.